In this how-to stats video, I'm changing things up a bit. I'm actually not going to talk about statistics at all. I'm going to show you a tool that I use uh, so regularly that uh, I feel like I have to share it with other people because I didn't actually know about it uh, until I think about a year ago or possibly two years ago at the most. And uh, I use it so often that uh, yeah, it's a bit of an exaggeration to say it's changed my life, but it's definitely helped improve my productivity and it's called Windows Snipping Tool and it came out in Windows Vista apparently and uh, so it's one of those rare useful additions that's been made in a change in Windows uh, operating system and uh, it's called the Windows Snipping Tool and what it does is it takes a snapshot of any section of the screen that you happen to be looking at and if you're familiar with Adobe Adobe has something similar and it has a snapshot camera but you can only use that in a PDF file. But what if you want to use it in any part of the screen that you're looking at? And I would also say that the snipping tool seems better quality than the camera snapshot in P that you get in the Adobe PDF reader. So I use it in there as well. So let me show you, show you how to use it and how I use it. So to get the snipping tool up, go into the start menu and just click on snipping and it should come up, snipping tool should come up. If not, type the whole one, snipping tool, and click on snipping tool. And what happens, your screen's gonna turn white, and you're gonna get this, or it will be a, like a white uh, transparent uh, frame around your whole window, your whole screen, and the snipping tool window pops up. And it says, new is depressed already. So yes, it want, you want a new uh, section that you're gonna copy and let's say I'm in an Excel uh, oop, let's say let me cancel that let's say I'm in a Excel file so here's an example of where I used this recently uh, I'm in an Excel file and this is produced for me and I want to actually report these results in a presentation and it doesn't matter that it has to look it doesn't have to look good I just need to capture one section of this and so I go into snipping tool and get that up and click on new make sure the screen's a bit white and then select the section that you actually want to talk about in your presentation you want to copy and paste into your document and so this is by clicking and dragging that section with my index finger and then release it actually copies that section so I edit copy and I could put that in a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation just by copying and pasting I could resize it and then I don't actually have to take the time of creating a table and writing those numbers in and potentially making a mistake so that's one real useful way of doing that probably save yourself several minutes if you do that on a regular basis it adds up so another way I use it is actually in PDF documents because like I said I think the quality is better than the Adobe camera snapshot so let's say I wanted this uh, scatter plot in a presentation just click on just make sure that I have a new I'm gonna click on a new one and then select the section just dragging your finger so click with your index finger and drag and then copy and then paste it into your document like so now the final way I'm going to show you how this is useful is in Google Books. And what you've probably noticed is that in Google Books you can't copy and paste text into uh, it, into a document uh, with text. So let's just say I, I, I type any book uh, statistics and click on there and let's say let me just go up to some words this is taking longer than I thought this is a huge book okay here we go so let's say I wanted to capture just this section uh, like the remark was challenged and led to an interesting discussion you can't copy and paste that uh, like if you go to click and drag like you would a PDF document you can't select it but what, what you can do is take a snapshot of it. If you, if you take the snipping tool, 
click on snipping and click on new and here I can en end up just copying and pasting the s snapshot of it instead so I could copy and paste that into the document instead so it's not might not be might even be better in some cases you might want it to look like a book but you def you can't in Google Books copy and paste the text you actually have to take a snapshot of it and a useful way of doing that is with the snipping tool anyway I hope you enjoyed this slight uh, change of pace with uh, how to stats I just had to I, I found it so useful to learn this tool I thought I should share it with other people uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time